What happens when you complete the Pokédex in Pokémon Sword and Shield? Hi, I'm Mike, Poketips Mike, and a few months ago, I did a series where I went through every Pokemon game, completed the Pokedex, and showed you what the rewards and what people's reactions were like. And now, it's time to continue that adventure in Sword and Shield. Alright, so let's pop open this Pokedex and see what we've got going on here. So this is the completed Pokedex in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. 400 Pokemon total. Starts off with Grookey, and ends with Eternatus, the Legendary. Now just like Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, and Sun and Moon before it, these games unfortunately do not have a national Pokédex. So these 400 Pokémon you see are the 400 Pokémon that you're going to be able to use in the game. There are still a few Pokémon that aren't in this Pokédex that are usable in Sword and Shield, like Mew. Mew you could get in game from the Pokéball Plus, but it doesn't have a Pokédex entry, and there are also 35 more Pokémon that were data mined and confirmed to exist in Sword and Shield, but we can't get them right now without any special events or Pokemon Home. When those things are out, we'll be able to use them in-game, but they won't have Pokédex entries either. Now just a few interesting things I wanted to point out about this Pokédex. This is the first and only Pokédex to have Charmander in it, but not include Bulbasaur or Squirtle. You know, the other two Kanto starters. Now, Bulbasaur and Squirtle, again, do exist in the game's data, so eventually they'll be usable in Sword and Shield, but Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard are the only ones that actually get Pokédex entries. Now, another interesting thing I wanted to point out is Meowth and Yamask both got Galar forms and special Galarian evolutions. Meowth evolves into Berserker, and Yamask evolves into Rune Regis. Also, excuse my voice, I'm just starting to get it back after losing it for three days. Anyway, so these new evolutions kind of replace the old evolutions, Persian and Kofrigus. However, to complete your Galar Pokédex, you'll still need the original evolutions as well, which I just find kind of weird because they're not native to the Galar region. Fortunately, there are people in-game that trade you a Cantonian Meowth and a Unovan Yamask, but if you were just a regular person trying to complete your Galar Pokédex and not the main character, it might be impossible for you to do. Actually, it would be impossible because there's no way you'd get the legendaries. Anyway, with that being said, let's go back to Wedgehurst and go to the Pokémon Research Lab so they can check out our completed Pokédex. Here's Sonya. If it isn't Poketips. Hop's been studying pretty hard, surprisingly. I'm sure he'd be glad to know you dropped by for a visit. And on Hop's side, yeah, I wasn't expecting him to say anything about the Pokédex. So surprisingly, nothing at the lab, but what about if we give Professor Magnolia a house call? You will have the chance to meet many Pokémundayan trainers in the wild area. You may even encounter Dynamax Pokémunday in such places. Put your faith in your partner, and push yourself to new heights together. These people gave me the Pokedex in the beginning of the game, but they don't care that I completed it. Alright, so next we're gonna go to Sir Chester. Now I know somebody here definitely cares that I complete the Pokedex, because this is where you can find the Game Freak people. Now I always get lost here, because there's two basically very identical hotels, but I think it's the left one over here in the second room. Let's go inside and see. Yes, this is what we're looking for here. This doctor man over here, this is the game director. Uh, amazing! You actually completed your Pokédex! Congratulations! This is truly an amazing feat. You deserve a special certificate to commemorate this champion achievement. And we get a special certificate, League Trainer Pokétips. We hereby certify your achievement of completing the Pokédex. May this great accomplishment be celebrated by all. And it looks like we have a nice stamp with the gym logo on it, the Game Freak logo, and a sword and a shield with Zashin and Zamazenta very subtly in the corners there. Also some text we can't read underneath. But here's the better stuff. And I won't stop there, let me add a little something special to your League card too. There we go! The Pokédex completion mark has been added to your League card. And this is a little gift from me simply because you've made me so happy. Now the Shiny Charm, as we all know, is an amazing item in Sword and Shield because it boosts your chances of finding a Shiny Pokémon, something that everybody wants. I hope your love for Pokémon doesn't ever fade. No, I don't think it ever will. I've been playing Pokémon for way too long now. 
All right, my friends, and that's what happens when you complete the Pokedex in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I hope this motivates you to complete your Pokedex and get yourself a shiny charm. And also, we can't forget about that cute little flex mark on the trainer card. My friends, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, follow me on Instagram at PokeTipsMike, and my friends, I'll be seeing you in the next one.